stops. That's a lot of information. Yeah. We if you guys need to get up and stretch or move, feel free. Um, my name is Josh Tierney. Um, I'm a program director at the Groves Post-Secondary Program. Um, I myself was diagnosed early in my educational career with a learning disability and dyslexia. Um, so I have personally kind of gone through the experience of the transition. I went to um, Oshkosh, Wisconsin which has a uh, program for dyslexia there. Um, so I've, I've gone through college. I went on to graduate school at the University of Minnesota. Um, and then came, which is a long, went into business, and then that was no fun, and then changed my career and went into education. And that's kind of where I sought out Groves Academy, and that's really where my passion is, um, is helping kids with learning disabilities and ADHD, because that's very much who I am. Um, I taught there for uh, four years and then really pushed to start this uh, post-secondary program because we were seeing lots of kids that were leaving high school and, and really not kind of living up to their potential and, and not um, succeeding when they took that next step. So, so what we really created was kind of a half step and a supportive um, atmosphere for students that were taking that next step. Um, this is Tracy. I'm Tracy Wellman. I work in the GPS program as well. Um, my background, as I mentioned earlier, I've been with Groves, this is my 14th year. I've taught um, high school math, actually, for 12 of those years and loved it and work, you know, a lot of ADHD students, um, LD kids, high-functioning Asperger's, you name it. And then I got pulled over into the GPS program, the um, post-secondary support program, and, and love it. And we'll talk a little bit more about that um, coming up. So. so um, Mike did a, did a fantastic job kind of leading up to the, the IEP and really as that's a leaping off point on what direction we're, we're going. And, and what we're going to kind of talk about is, is the post-secondary education and, and that includes lots and lots of, there's lots of different options out there for students. Um, there's four year universities and colleges, there's four years with support, there's four years um, with, uh, without support though, that, that have more kind of a program within a program at the different <coughs> colleges. Um, there's two-year community colleges. Um, each community college definitely has a different mission and a different goal. Um, we've worked with a lot of the local um, uh, two-year colleges and quite a few of the four-year colleges. So we've kind of, Tracy and I personally, have jump through the college hoops many times with the students as we help them get into colleges, get registered for classes. Um, there's lots of vocational and technical programs out there. Um, there's private programs such as kind of ours is the college support, there's career training, and then at the end there's kind of their, your community-based um, education that's out there for um, different options for different students. Um, I think the important thing, and this was part of Mike's, is, is really knowing what what the goal is um, for your student and knowing what that outcome is. Um, all those different programs have lots and lots of different outcomes depending on what's appropriate for your student. Um, there's gaining independence, there's career, um, getting certifications, there's getting degrees, there's all different types um, and you really should really think about what are the goal, uh, kind of what's that end goal for your, um, for your students. Um, we talked a little bit about this with Mike. This is kind of preparing for that, is um, making sure that IEP is, is building and that rigor is there, especially if we're going to an academic track, that that is there um, throughout those high school careers. Um, and making sure that, the, that it's realistic, setting realistic, realistic options um, for those students. And that those discussions should be having, be had in those IEP meetings. Um, Please, if I, I'm, I want to kind of run through this to have questions at the end, but if you have questions, please, please stop me if I'm going too fast. Um, and then consider the programs and admission requirements. Um, there, there's different uh, programs and there's different admissions. The two-year college is, is fairly, um, there's a, an AccuPlacer test to get into, and then the four-year colleges, there's more of an ACT track depending on, on what kind of the trajectory of your student might be. Um, 
As you guys are deciding on different programs and looking at different programs, um, you guys should be thinking about uh, kind of what are the academic needs, what are the independent needs, um, what are the health and safety needs, where are these locations. Um, we have had lots of students that were maybe not ready for a four-year experience and going to a four-year college that were set up taking a full load um, of classes and ended up not making it at a four-year year and kind of falling out of that of those colleges and we see that a lot in our program um, and it's much different picking up a kid that has fallen out of a four-year college than it is kind of building into it and, and kind of really being thoughtful as you're planning uh, and getting a kid into a program. So the big thing is making sure that you select a program that really fits their needs. You hate to see them trip right out of high school. Um, so academic needs. Um, what kind of support are they getting right now in, in high school? Um, how much support is mom and dad giving them? How much are they kind of kicking them down the road on assignments? Um, those are all things that could, could, should be into consideration as when they go away to college, that's not gonna be there. And if it needs to be there, then you need to find that support or that system or whatever that is to make sure that they're successful in the academic. Independent needs. Um, we've had parents come to us saying that we're we're scared as heck that um, they're not going to turn the gas off on their apartment and they're going to blow the place up. <laughs> um, I, I think those are very real and and scary thoughts for parents to have. And um, you know, are they able to do um, their own laundry? How do they handle roommates? Um, a lot, of the, a lot of colleges you can get in and one of your accommodations could be a single room and you don't have, um, you don't have a roommate depending what your, um, your disability might be. Um, but it, be very real in, in kind of where, you, where that student is at in those independent skills because again, mom and dad are gonna be left in the car as, as Mike said <laughs> when they go to college. Uh, um, health and safety, um, you know, in, in college there's lots of the extracurricular stuff that goes on. There's lots of kind of stuff that goes on in the dorm. Is your, uh, a student that can, you know, keep a level head and make good decisions? Um, those are all things that kind of need to be taken into consideration because that stuff does happen in the colleges and then definitely in the four-year colleges. Um, are they mature to make that step to, to live on their own and be in the dorm and, and make good and healthy decisions. Um, how are their, what is their emotional support? Um, if they're seeing a psychologist right now um, and they're being successful, that should be continued wherever they go. Um, and they should find a new person to talk to and to get help if needed. Um, all those things need to be kind of put in place as they take these next steps. Uh, location consideration. Uh, I went to Oshkosh, which was kind of four and a half hours away, um, which is probably short enough to come home and do your laundry, but not so far that would be hard to rescue if you had to as a parent. <laughs> um, those should be taken into consideration too as well. Um, would you send a kid that doesn't have good independence and doesn't make good healthy decisions out to the East Coast, which is really far away away? Um, you know, I, we've had lots of kids that have come back from those types of situations too. And again, it's, it's, it's a much different story picking a kid up after they've fallen out of a program or a school or things like that. Um, and then there's desired outcomes and costs. Um, with all these different programs, um, there's diplomas, there's certification, there's kind of employment opportunities. Um, there's, there's programs out there that are, are $60,000 where you live on campus and they take care of everything. Um, that, and that doesn't even include your, if you were taking your tuition. Um, and then there's, you know, down to the kind of local, you know, $50, $60 things and getting them into kind of adult basic education classes. So there's a, there's a wide range of, of costs 
and there's a lot of different outcomes from those different programs. And 